Hey everybody. It's the program. Here we are on TV. Once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines and then we start talking. It's Saturday today. Hey Saturday. How you are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Hey viewers, how are you doing? I'm doing just good. Great today. Thank you. If you haven't seen the program, we're going to be talking here for an hour. Maybe we can check some messages. People have called this number up here. And then they left some messages. But don't do that. Don't call me. Leave me alone. Maybe we have a visitor from the disembodied head. Disembodied head, where are you? Where are you, disembodied head? Looking around, do you see him? Do you see him, viewers? It's kind of like a one of those kids shows, you say. Where is he? Are you behind the couch? Yeah. Oh, I can see you behind the jacket there. Yeah. There you are, back there. Yeah. Oh, hey, why don't you come up here? I'll help you out. Let's do disembodied and everything. Uh, here we go. Getting the the guest for for uh, nobody's here replacement guest the disembodied head did you have a good uh, couple of days disembodied head I don't know where the last time we talked to you was yeah you seen anything on the streets yeah oh you did can you tell us about them yeah but you don't have a real thing all you say is yeah yeah oh okay well too bad then but we got some voicemails though here's the one from Dan Dobler just calling to see if you're there. Hi, Katie. This is Dan. And you can call me back. Bye. All right, here. Let's call Dan back. Dan Dobler. Say, hey, Dan Dobler. How you do? <laughs> it's the end of Spaghetti Week today. The beginning of Egg Week with uh, for Easter. Hello? Hey, Dan, it's the program. We're on TV. How are you doing today? Fine. Oh, great. Uh, it's it's going to be Easter for us tomorrow. What? We're doing Easter tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. You like Easter? I didn't know that. You're going to get some ham. Maybe we'll get some ham. Easter, Easter is tomorrow? Yeah. Wow. Well, Easter is tomorrow for us, not for everybody else, though. For, for the viewers. Not for us. Uh, we're doing... I, 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 I'm going to talk to you later on, okay? Thank you, Dan. Thanks for leaving messages. Bye. Bye. That was Dan Dobler. There it goes. Thanks, Dan Dobler. Uh, then we got a, a, a Mr. Ginsey message about, you know, I think before we get to that, and then we'll call him, because that might be, a, a, I have a feeling it could... But for a while, we're gonna call Sam here because he's scheduled to be here tomorrow doing this stuff here. Calling Sam, saying, Hey Sam, how you do? You're scheduled for tomorrow for, I think we said 8 o'clock or something, right? I think we didn't talk to him not too long ago, so. Hey, what's up? Hey Sam, it's the program. We're on TV. How are you doing today? program we're on TV. I'm good. I'm playing categories with the family. Categories. categories. Uh -huh. It's really fun. And I'm going to be there tomorrow at 8.30, correct? 8.30, yeah. Correct. I will be there. My family's mad at me because I picked up the phone. Alright, have, have fun. Alright, I love you, man. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Alright. Uh, well, I said that because I was thinking about my family when I said that. I'm sorry, that was kind of weird. Okay, bye. <laughs> Bye. Sam said he loved me. Uh, here we go. Let's listen to this Mr. Ginsey messages from yesterday. So I think maybe we're going to listen to some archival Mr. Ginsey messages today, too. I've been trying to get through them. You know, I guess I just got to freaking say thank you, Washington. Washington, thank you. Thank you very much for making fun illegal. Do you? Good. God. Damn it. I 
I'm sick and tired of giving people my money. Yeah. And then doing the dope deal. The money goes, the flowers go back, and then nobody comes back. Yeah. Yeah. Super. And then yeah. you go, oh, yep. Yeah. I just did a dope deal. <laughs> That's what I call it a dope deal. Because it fucked. See? Yeah. So now that we can get from the state, I won't have to go off and try to hunt people down. Yeah. Who has money for my weed. My weed money, right? Yeah. And yeah. 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 So it seems to me that they're gonna stop so much freaking. I wonder what the fuck. So if you know of people who have stole the weed before, right? Yeah. Can you now go down to the cop and go, hey, you know, by the way, I have my weed stolen, or I give money for weed to such a person, and they never give me my weed. Go get them, boys. And then you actually go get somebody who actually stole something. Right? Yeah. It's like robbery, except for being the law was the way it was, it was kind of legal because it's not like somebody's going to turn you in or... Well, people have done it on cops before. I've seen it. Oh, you got my weed money here. Oh, my cop money. Uh, whatever, fuck it. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. But as long as they just want to get the person in trouble, but they mostly got in trouble themselves. But now it's legal. You can say, hey, fuck off. That guy got my money, he won't give it back. Yeah. And, uh, never finished the contract, see? So, I don't know, I'm just fucking going up. I guess. Yeah. I thought I was going somewhere with it. Didn't, didn't go anywhere. I don't know. Maybe I smoked a little bit too much weed. Maybe I didn't. I don't fucking know. Maybe I smoked some more weed. That way I get tired. I did just fucking wake up. Not normally, but I don't like waking up. Yeah. Got timed out. All right. Well, I think, yeah. I think Mr. Gensu is calling back. What the fuck, over? Mr. Gensu, it's his programmer on TV. How are you doing today? Keep going. I'm uh, talking to you here, uh, doing the program, talking to you, listening to your message. I didn't leave a message today. Did you use up all my messages? No, you left a message. Must have been 8 a.m. this morning. And did you use up all my old messages? Uh, we still have a few. What the fuck, over? Messages if you fucking ain't gonna use the old one. Oh, well, okay, we won't use the old ones. No, you just erase them. Why, why don't you want to? You don't think we should listen to the old ones? What are you said important things in those old ones? Just erase them. I think I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> Kiss you left them. I mean, I don't want to discourage you from leaving messages in the future. Yeah, well, it makes me a whole lot less wanting to fucking leave messages in the future if you fucking bullshit fuck them over from the past. Why don't you want to listen to those old ones? I mean, you left them in the past. I think they're still uh, there, and they're, you say some things that you wanted to get out in the public back then. You think you regretted no. things you, you recited in those? Yeah, I can decide and I can just erase them. Why? You think that you're old? You don't like the old messages? Are you, are you embarrassed or something or what? I don't know. 
Good. It's time for the dust game. Old news. Who cares anymore? Who cares at all? Me. All right. Hey, it's uh, time for the dice game. Uh, does somebody head gets a one? Do you want a number? Yeah, I can't. I just don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. You want a, num a number? Six. All right. Here we go. Does somebody head gets a one? I, I have a two. You got two. It's Who a four. Everybody lost. Fuck! Fucking son of a fucking bitch. How in the fucking hell am I supposed to fucking win if you fucking don't roll my fucking number? Well, we still have a lot of points to go. We have 2,500 out of a possible 3,000 points. It's, it's... What kind of, what kind of beer are you like? Uh, Olympia. Wrong answer. Oh, uh, what's the right answer? Uh, that was not it. Okay. Um, it's the end of Spaghetti Week today, and it's going to be the beginning of Egg Week for Easter. It's your what? It's the it's end of... It's the end of Spaghetti Week. Oh, Spaghetti Week. Yes. I like spaghetti. I like spaghetti. Do you cook it? Yeah. What do you put on I it? Like I like to put just enough water in the pan to cover the spaghetti up and then boil it until it's dry. Uh-huh. And you may have... I have to add just a shit, just a t little bit of water, just to make sure it has enough to keep boiling until it boils for 11 minutes. But uh, cook it till it's fucking dry at 11 minutes. It's badass. Then you don't have to drain it. And then what? You just eat the noodles? You put sauce on it? Yeah. Then you just throw the sauce into the pan and heat the sauce. Um. What, just canned tomato sauce? Like 10 minutes, 30 seconds, you can throw tomato sauce in there and uh, butter and cook that shit up. And then by the time 11 minutes, it's, you'll be fucking ready to go. Just a can, huh? Or a, a jar of spaghetti sauce? Yeah. Tomorrow? It's trick. Yeah. Soon it's going to be... If you get... Oh. Yeah, he's badass. Cook it for 11 minutes. It's done, so that's all there's to it. Yeah. It's a good food. They have it at gas stations. How about beefaroni? You like beefaroni? You ever eat that stuff? Um, trail fucking jerky or something? Uh, beefaroni. It's like kind of like SpaghettiOs for, well, I don't know if it's for adults, but it's, it's like kind of... Oh, no. Beefaronis? Beefer I hate them things. Beefaroni, you don't they like beefaroni? I gotta get me some of that stuff. We've been talking about it here and I remember liking it in the past, so I'm gonna try to try to go seek it out. Uh like the spaghettios and shit in a it's, can. It's kinda like spaghettios, but it's more meaty and I think it's for I think it's maybe it's for adults, at least maybe marketed for them. Um, Spaghetti-o's, I hate spaghetti-o's. That shit in a can sucks. Yeah. Spaghetti. Spaghetti in a can is no good. The red sauce that's with it sucks. Fucking spaghetti sucks. It's just nasty shit. So, you I'd rather go without spaghetti if I had to eat it out of a can. Yeah. <laughs> you seen anything uh, on the streets or on the news? I've only been in my house just sitting here freaking going, what the fuck ever. How's your um, back today? It's doing a little better, but I can, it was freaking catching up. Have you tried 
doing like therapy, maybe you need to get some muscles in your back. Like you need to do a little bit of exercise and then, you know, get a plan to work it up more and more until you get better. Maybe you can do some therapy if you're trying to do that. Motherfucker, I was built like a brick shit house. Uh-huh. Okay. I didn't need fucking do no therapy to like get muscles because I got them. Now, I've had to sit here and lose my muscles so that they will, like, let go of whatever fucking, you know. Do you understand that? If you don't have any muscle there, it'll let go. Maybe you need to get the, the, the right ones back and you don't know what they are. You got to go see a physical therapist. Have you tried that? No, I don't need to do fucking nobody nothing. Maybe they'll Fuck fix you yeah. back. There ain't no doing nothing. If I fucking do shit, my back gonna hurt like a son of a bitch. And then nobody's gonna give me no painkiller. So fuck off. There ain't no fucking doing that shit. I ain't no gain. Go to physical therapist. Huh? No pain, no gain. Go to physical therapist. I ain't gonna do no physical therapy. All right, that's okay with me, I guess. Hey, did you? I just have to lay him and deal with the gravity situation. The pain that gravity gives you. Yeah. You gotta deal with the gravity pain. If you understood what that would be, it's close to fucking bed sores. Pretty close to bed sores, but fucking not quite there yet. Yet. All right. Uh, you left them, on your message. You were complaining about the legality of marijuana still, and thinking Washington and saying your friend got in trouble or something like that. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you want to listen to the message? Can you hear it? Maybe you can. But what is it? No, yeah, I need to hear it. You want to hear your own message? I think you'll be able to, be able to hear this, maybe. Um, uh -huh. I might be able to tell you what I was talking about whenever I freaking yapped it fucking out. Right, here's the message, know. it's playing. You know, I guess I just got to freaking you hear that? say thank you, Washington, Washington, thank you. Thank you very much for making fun illegal. Because I'm a while illegal. Thanks a lot, motherfuckers. I appreciate it. And people, my mother. And then doing the dope deal, the money goes, a couple hours go by, and then nobody comes back. Yeah. Super. Yeah. And then you just go, oh, yep, I just did a dope deal. I <laughs> like, well, a dope deal. My money goes, right? It's fucked. Because a long time, so now that we can get from the state. Are you, you want me to pause it? Okay, what? For a long time there, whenever I've been growing up since high school, I would say you give up your money to go get the weed, and then the people take off with your money. Uh-huh. See, so that's why you get to know people and know stuff. So after a while, I didn't need them people no more. That's the black market, yeah. Uh, but... I know people who lost their money because they just go give it to some guy hoping that he'll be honest enough to bring the shit back. And a lot of times, the shit don't come back. <laughs> it uh, get typed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because they think nobody's going to freaking uh, turn them in or Because marijuana is illegal anyway. So you're going to get turned in and you're going to turn yourself in. But nowadays, I bet there's a whole lot less fucking of that bullshit goes down because somebody might turn you in. Marijuana is legal. They can't get in trouble for turning you in for something that's legal. Uh, hey, it's uh, info time. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck, I hate it. Oh, You're some answers to some frequent last questions about the program. You're watching it right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with me. It's a call and television talk show. It's safe right here in Thurston County, seven days a week, 365 days a year. 366 on the new beers. It is every night, 11.30 p.m. on TCTV, channel 22. 
Each episode airs a week after it's taped, so if you're watching at 11.30 p.m. on TCTV Channel 22, the episode taped the same weekday of the previous week. If you're watching at 2 a.m., this episode taped the same day of the month of the previous year. You can also watch any episode of the U program on YouTube.com. Anyone can be on the program, especially you, YDHW, or anyone the community for pundits, give us a call at 360-836-4384 and leave us a message, and we'll call you back in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and now back to the program. Alright. What? Hey, who's there with you? Who's down there with you? It's just me and the disembodied head. And who? Uh, inanimate guest, the fake guest. Yeah! It's just I, me. I couldn't. You're breaking up, kinda. It's me and I'm fake guest. I'm not used to you. It's me and fake guest. I can fucking hear you. It's me and fake guests. No guest. Fake guests. Fake. Yeah, they're fake. Yeah. So it's somewhat like Charlie. Yeah. 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 Only Charlie's real. Charlie's except. But he doesn't. He have... just really. He can just really fart up a storm. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fake guests aren't going to fart up a storm. Holy smokes. I just took the lead in my poker game. And I got 4,040. Whoa, little bastard. Want to go all in and get all his money back all fucking right now. Fuck off. Are you playing for real poker for, with money or is it a game? It's for fun game. I'm playing just for fucking fun and game. All right. But there's... There are chips you play in the game, and if you lose your chips, you can't play no more. So, the more chips you get, the more you can play. Yeah. And the big the chips you get, the bigger of a game they cram you into. <laughs> and pretty much shit like that. You can lose a lot of chips real fucking fast. There's guys out there that got a billion chips and millions, several million chips. Uh couple hundred million chips anyway and it's like what the fuck man some of them people are just rich with rich rich with chips fake chips but then they're, uh, playing, but the, they're playing against each other and losing they, them all at, at once they don't really necessarily cough up them chips fucking like they're going out of style though that's how you get they anything like that's how you accumulate you gotta be uh, uh keeping that stuff you know save it yeah, that's true, but I'm more of a fucking gambler myself. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's what the fun of it. If you're gambling, playing this, like, fake game, and you're saving, what's the point of that? Fuck. Oh, no. no what the fuck just happened? Oh. You gotta blow the game. I don't know. Uh, well, hey, Mr. I... Ginsu, if you're playing poker, you can play poker. We'll make some more other phone calls. All right. Thank you for Dude. calling Leave some more messages. Uh, okay, there, bye. There it goes. Bye, Mr. Ginsu. Uh, here, let's let's call Freddie, the producer. In the meantime, we'll listen to some of these uh, archival Mr. Ginsu messages. Even though I said I wasn't going to to him, but uh, I don't think he's actually even watching the program anymore. And I want to. I do want to get to these. I think that it would be a good idea. This is Obama. Would you think she would do that? I don't know, but I think she would make a bitchin' president. Michelle, this is Michelle, President Michelle Obama. Yep, that sounds pretty good. I believe. Uh, yep, yep. That would be nice. That would be nice. Hey, you've reached Freddie Gilbert. I can't come to the phone right now. Clinton but trying to be you me a nice message, mm. and I will call you back. That would just be a nightmare. <laughs> All by itself. Hey, Freddie. She's... You can call us back. It's a program. You have about 35 minutes. She's done a lot for our country, but I don't think she'd make a good president. I think Michelle Obama would make a good president. That's my own personal opinion. I would rather have Michelle Obama as a president than the Clinton lady. So, 
that story and I fucking see it. It's all. I would be happy. I would be happy. And that way we could be assured that the stuff that President Obama is doing now may have a very good chance to survive and thrive under Michelle, Michelle Obama because she would be able to talk to the ex-president and say, what was your deal about that? And he would say, oh yeah, I'm trying to get bullshit done. And she would go, okay, well, we'll get it done. Right, help you. Hey, Rocket Mart, do you guys have any yeah. beef beefaroni? Beefaroni? Yeah, like it's like that can you know, like it's kind of like Chef R D, like that can stuff. Right. Hang on. Yeah, we have Chef Boy R D beefaroni. Oh, great! Thank you. Yep. We'll finish what you started. Right? You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying, motherfucker? I hope you do, because I don't really want to explain myself too many fucking times. Uh, you know me by now, I don't really like to explain myself too many fucking times. I don't like to answer too many fucking questions. Yeah, you either. do. Hello? As far as I can tell. I, do you guys have beefaroni, like that can, the canned stuff? Pardon me? You guys have beefaroni, you know, like the, the canned, like, spaghetti stuff? I... Do we have spaghetti sauce and stuff? No, uh, uh, Will you take some I don't know if we pulled out. What can I get for you, Marcus? Beef... Uh, I'm the Yeah. Beef or green? Yeah. Yes, we have spaghetti sauce. Oh, I'm looking for beefaroni. Like, like, it's got the noodles in there already, like... So we got beefaroni? Yeah, we got, we got spaghetti. Uh, beefaroni? Beefaroni? I think we do, I'm not sure. No. Five, 544. Uh, what do you want? I think we do. Yeah. I've got a line here, I can't go back there. He just went and looked and, and there might be some small cans back there. Thank you. All right, bye. Good idea. It's 4 a.m. Hello? Mike's Market. Hey, Mike's Market. Do you guys have beefaroni right now? Can we what? You guys got beefaroni? Like, you know, it's like that canned, like, spaghetti kind of thing, you know? Oh, uh, let me check. Hold on. Okay. What? Hello? You, yes? I I have three cans. Oh, great. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Mike's Market. Next one is Hat Rock Store. You know, I was having a freaking thought there for a sec, but somehow I lost my train of thought. And now I'm fucking... Fuck over. Deal with that shit. You understand? Oh, talking about Alibaba and the 40 D. Hello? Oh. Right in Thurston County. I know where they're at. Because my weed's gone. And I have none. And I think they're agreeing that they took it. <laughs> That's what they're agreeing. They're like, yeah, we took that shit. Um, 
Yep. I think they would agree to that. Which means it's pretty fucking obvious. Give me my fucking weed back, asswad. Fuck. You understand me? Kind of. I think you fucking do. Yeah, medium, Leah. It's time for the next dice game. Here we go. Rolling two dice this time. This one body head, you get a one, I have six, you tell them. Six. So far nobody has any points. Two dice this round. One and a five. All three of the numbers that nobody has got rolled. What's with that? Didn't correctly visualize the future. Up the big fucking zeros, cause I need to start fucking eating some weed. Cause uh, I haven't had near enough. You've been fucking me over with my medication for years now. And because of your bullshit, I haven't been able to find nobody like Kenny to fucking grow my weed. What? I said, Sergio. Hey, Sergio. Um, do you guys got any beefaroni right now? What? Uh, beefaroni, like can canned spaghetti, like Chef Rodi canned spaghetti kind of stuff. Where? Here? Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, I, that's why I'm calling you. You think if I called you, like, do you have any beefaroni at home? No. You don't have any beefaroni in your home? No. How about at the store? That's what I was looking for. No, I don't see any. Oh, uh, you know, what kind of canned food do you guys got there? Um... Chili? Some... Spaghetti and meatball. Is it Chef Berardi? What? What brand is it? Uh, Chef Boyardee. Oh, uh, yeah, brand name. It's probably pretty close. I bet spaghetti meatballs is almost the same thing as beefaroni. It's a little bit different in shape, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, uh, though, beefaroni? You had that before? Uh, no, not really, but... All right. There's... Yeah, I don't know. Thank you. Was that it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it easy. Don't work too hard. Here we go, let's call the next one. This place is, oh, it's a 7-Eleven, look at that. Oh, hey, actually, I forgot about this. Spaghetti week is over. We've just crossed over into egg week. In celebration of Easter, kinda. What was that? Blip, blip. I think we should call our resident... Jesus person here, Alex. Say, hey, Alex, it's Easter. Tell us about Jesus Christ, the Savior. Here we go. Hello? Hello, Alex. It's the program. Hey! Hey! We're on TV. How are you doing today? Doing great. It's How are you guys? Oh, just great. Yeah, also real good now. Thank you. Yeah. It's the beginning of Easter week, Egg Week here. Egg, we're calling it Egg Week. Ooh, Egg Week. So cool. In honor of Easter. Yeah. Easter is coming up. I wanted you, let's hear a sermon. <laughs> he is risen. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's my sermon. Oh, uh, that's the whole thing? That'll, that that so, preaches. So is this the day that they that they looked in the cave or is this the day that he got out of the cave? No, no, no. This is the day that he's he's in the cave. I don't think anyone looked in the cave yet, but he got killed he was killed yesterday and today he's just chilling and then tomorrow he'll rise from the dead. 
Oh, the day after Easter is the day he rises. No, Easter is the day he ri he rose from the dead. Oh, okay. Um, did he move? He moved, they moved like a boulder. That's what they say, right? Like. Yep, it was two tons. So, is the story that his, his like his physical body woke up from the dead? Yep, his physical body. But he didn't look the same because he rose from the dead. So he did, he went into hell and defeated hell. And then he rose from the dead, so like before he died, he had all kinds of gashes everywhere on him. But when he rose, he, he was just normal. He had like a normal, you what, know, he didn't have any gashes. What what day did he fight uh, Satan? Uh, I think that was today. The day before Easter? Yeah. yeah that's pretty fun. Did he... Like, did he battle him with, like, an axe, or what? What do they say? Or, like, with the righteousness? Um, I'm not sure. I think it's probably a little bit of both. Like, be Jesus was doing a little bit of, like, like karate or something. Yeah, maybe. I am, this year, our church is having eight Easter, ser eight Easter services, and I'm going to be performing at all of them, dancing. That's a lot. I know. Only for, like... Two minutes each, but still, yeah. Did you uh, make up your dance yourself for Jesus, or what? No, I mean, yeah, I made it up myself. Is it going to be by yourself, or are you going to have a group? I'm going to be by myself, except for Saturday, Mariah will be with me, my sister. Yeah, I think it's more impressive when with the group, because if you're doing it by yourself, you could be making it up. Yeah, exactly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it up. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you could let Jesus make it up. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Good job, Kenny. You got a channel. Um, yeah. All right. Well, y you should come on the program soon. We don't have very much on the calendar. Okay. I'm, I've am i been super busy because I've been having this performance, and then next weekend I have dance competition. So I'll try to, I'll try to come down, but it's going to be pretty tight. All right. Well, no pressure. Uh, thanks for informing us about Easter on Egg Week. You're welcome. Thanks for calling. Bye. I'll talk to you. Bye. Bye. All right, that was Alex. Alex is a resident Christian advisor. Everybody getting busted because I went to doing that one dude is growing my weed already. Do you fucking understand me? You're causing me fucking problems. All sorts of fucking problems. And then I gotta deal with my mom, who's Hello. like, oh, cut them hey, fuckers down. Man. I can't afford to fucking yeah. go to court you right now. You guys got uh, beefaroni, like in a can? Huh? You guys got beefaroni? You guys got like any canned spaghetti? No. No, no canned foods at all? No, okay, yeah. You do? Hey, how about those, uh, uh hello? 7 you hang up on me? Rude. Yep. Okay, here we go. Let's call the next one. This place is called Short Stop. I think this is going to be the last one that we're able to call before the commercial break. Which is coming up here shortly. Like, like, it's like, what the fuck? What the fuck, over? You gotta be fucking me. Hey, shortstop? What? This is the shortstop? Yeah. You guys got beefaroni? Got what? Beefaroni, like canned spaghetti? Uh, I don't think so, no. Alright, thank you. Sorry about that. No problem. Take it easy. Hey, it's time for a commercial break.
Great. Coming up on the next episode of the program. Hey, everybody, it's the commercial. Yeah. So on the program, we talk at length with Mr. Ginsu. Um, I talk about gravitational lensing. Um, uh, Space. Can he eats a burrito. Um, One every night at 11.30 and 2 a.m. on TCTV Channel I talk, 22. I talk about art swap. In my art stuff. Yeah. Nature Welcome Week. to the ocean. The final frontier. No. I stop. Oh, we're back. I'm fucking going. Are you kidding me? I will kick you in your cut. No. I don't fucking know. I need my marijuana. I need to be unmolested. And I feel like I'm being molested. Do you understand that? Do you don't understand what molested is? I do. I don't think you're seeing it in the right context. Bad. It's when people are being idiots and mean to you, and you're only really trying to just do what's wrong. That's what not the law. what it is. That's not what it is, Mr. Kinsey. I think you are incorrect. Well, 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 I certainly hope nobody tried to call and get a word in edgewise. <laughs> I'm still here, motherfuckers. Um, what's going down? I'm still thinking I deserve my marijuana back. And, yep, I'm still thinking that would be a good fucking idea for Thurston County to give me my marijuana back. And it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before they in the air and say, we are fucking stupid. We would just pay you because we're idiots. We didn't even know that the fucking thing was medical marijuana. What have we been doing all this bullshit for? Wasting everybody's money, time, and effort on bullshit that was fucking fake to begin with. It was fake because the coppers didn't do their... Lake Plan McDonald's is Cassie. Hey, McDonald's. Do you guys have those... Stra- uh, the, the peach pies yet? Yeah. No, we do not. We're only doing the strawberry cream. We're not going to do the peach. Oh, uh, you're going to skip the peach altogether? No, yeah, we're not going to do it at all. Oh, uh, why not? As that I have no idea. That's what we were told not you, to do. But you know about it, but you know I can get it? Correct. All right. You know what the next special pie is going to be? No, I don't. I don't. won't know until like a month ahead. Uh, nothing's on the calendar? Nope. How far does the, does the calendar only go for a month? Anything else on the calendar? Like milkshakes or something or what? No. Nothing? Nope. All right. Thank you. Uh huh. Job. The proper job that they were supposed to do. But then, I guess they don't all know the law. So that's why I'm supposed to be patient. Is because they don't know the law. They just kind of out there whacking their puds and fucking imagining that they're cops and shit. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And they are cops, so their imagination's pretty fucking good, but then their imagination goes way overboard this time. And they're documents. Documented proof. What do you do about that? You can't undocument the fucking documented proof where we already have it. It's documented. It's right there. Undocument. Two different stories for that guy. Oh, two different stories for that thing that happened. And then it's all up for three. Hey, McDonald's, do you guys have those peach pies yet? The peach? 
No, we do not. The next one's going to come out or going to be the strawberry cream. Uh, you you don't have the strawberry cream right now? No, those will be out in uh, about a week. And then you're going to switch over? Yeah, we're switching over to the strawberry cream in about a week. Uh, what's, what's, what do you guys got right now? Uh, we just have cherry and uh, the standard apple. Just the regular stuff? Yes, yeah, correct. And then we also have our brand new petite pastries. Oh, what's that? The petite pastries? Peach? The cinnamon cream cheese pastries and the raspberry filled pastries. Are those like the pies? No, they're, they're, they're little petite pastries. They're like almost like a phyllo dough wrapped uh, in raspberries in one of them and then a cinnamon cream cheese. I guess in the other. They're actually really good. Did they come in the same box as the pie? No, no, they come in a little, uh, like, a square box with a little clear cell on top of it. Looks like something you'd get, like, a Starbucks or something like that. Uh, uh, is it kind of like a pie? Because I like those pies. No, no, I... no. No, what, what, I mean, it's close enough to a pie that I could go in there, because I always want to try the new pies, but I don't know about this other thing. Can you just call, can we just call no, it a no, pie? Can we I kind of like them a little bit better than the pies. But it's not like the you guys don't have real pies, you know. Your pies are kind of like pastries more than pies, because pies are like those big round things, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, these are they're, they're pretty much they're considered turnovers. A turnover, yeah, a turnover is a pie. Yeah, so that's pretty much the you know what they're considered. I don't like pastries. I only want a pie. Maybe I can eat it. Uh, I'm just gonna tell myself it's a pie. It's close enough, because I don't think it's gonna be like a McDonald's pastry would be a different thing than a pie or than a regular pastry, right? Because yeah. those are fancy, too fancy for me. I just want a pie. <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah. So that's what we got. But as far as I know, I, I haven't seen anything about the pastry. How, how much is the pastry? The pastries are, if you order it drink, a dollar and twenty nine for two of them. Or if you get them by themselves, they're a dollar ninety nine. Two for a dollar? No, no, no. Dollar twenty nine with the purchase of a drink. Or. Two for $1.99. Oh, and that's the same price as the pie? Pies are two for a dollar still? No, they're, uh, 59 cents on each. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Alright, thank you. Bye. Uh, that was McDonald's in, uh, El Cajon, California. This next McDonald's is in Por Poway, Poway. Oh, way, California. Stories from that guy. <laughs> what the fuck? How many stories can come up out of a fucking that? Well, there should be like one that you think. That's my story. Because that's my story. That's what it is. Look at it. That's what happened there. Not. Oh, no. I'll tell this story because it sounds like makes me cooler sounding. I don't fucking know. I'm just trying to make excuses for some asswad out there. I can't even fathom why they would fucking stick their freaking neck out there. Oh no! Try to cause the internet. someone harm whenever there's no reason for it. You know? Yeah. It was blatant effort. Fuck someone over. Mm okay. Mr. Guess you got timed out. Hello. Oh look at this, it's time for the final dice game. Good evening, Greenfield McDonald's, this is Adam speaking. Hi Adam. Do you guys have those uh Peach pies yet? Peach pie sounds amazing, but uh, not at the moment. What we have is we have apple and we have strawberry cream. Uh, strawberry. What kind of cream is in the strawberry cream? Is it whipped cream? Um, it's a. Uh, it's well, I wouldn't describe it as whipped cream. It's not that uh, viscous. It's actually a little more solid. It's more like a custard cream kind of, except all vanilla. It's not yellow at all. It's just white. White custard. Yep. Like a donut. Yeah, actually, that's a good description of it, yeah. It's like a, a donut custard. Instead of, instead of a yellow custard, it's a, a more light white. Do you, do you know about the peaches? Because I heard you're going to get the peaches. 
I have not heard anything about a deep pie. I'm pretty on the pulse as far as new items, but the second I get it on the truck, I'll definitely let customers know. Uh, great. Thank you very much. Hope you have a good night. Wow, Adam is such a nice guy. Look at that time for the final dice game. Here we go. You ready? Uh, head, there's the back. Oh, it's upside down. There's the back of the head over there. Are you ready for the final dice game ahead? What? Yeah! Hopefully, uh,. Somebody gets some points, because right now nobody has any points. Me and Mr. Gintu and you, head. Yeah! You don't have any points. So, so I guess we don't need to know what the older ones are, where nobody has any points. <laughs> hey! Actually, I, I, I made a mistake before, I think, anyway. Disembodied head, you won. Yeah! Way to go. Yeah. Alright. Do you know what a crown is? <laughs> you may think you know what a crown is. You may not know. Crayon what a crown. or a king's crown? Crown goes on the Queen of England said the king said can have the crown as like the title or the, the position. Hello? Four similar businesses. To connect to Taste of Home Cakes and Cupcakes. Located at Paseo Palmas Drive in Lakeside, California. Press 1. Thank you. Please hold while I connect you to Taste of Home Cakes and Cupcakes. Taste of home cakes and cupcakes, huh? Thank you for calling. Press 1 to be connected. Right, Press imagine. 1 to be connected. Welcome to Taste of Home Cakes and Cupcakes. It's a robot. It's gotta be George. People are robots. <laughs> Maybe that was the like, first time I'm not so shooting. Anyway, beyond that, I'm fucking... Trying to fucking bullshit you on this other fucking thing here. Love Princess Diana. Remember that? My gosh. Yep, she was a little hotty with a naughty body. Hello, McDonald's? Um, yes, hi. Hi. Hey. Do, you, do you guys have the strawberry pies right now? The, the strawberry cream? Yeah. Yes, we do. Oh, uh, you do? Because actually, I'm, I'm waiting for those peach pies. Do you know about those? Uh, the which one? Peach. The peach one? No. Uh, I haven't heard of that one. Uh, do, we, do we sell those, or...? Does, uh, does McDonald's sell those, or...? McDonald's, yeah. Yeah, I heard they're going to be next. I thought they are going to be next after you, you switch out from the strawberry pies. You're going to move on to the peach pies. So if you got the strawberry pies, then you don't have the peach pies yet. Uh, we have, uh, what we have right now is, uh, cherry pies, and then we have the strawberry one. Yeah. Strawberry cream. I don't know, maybe, uh, I haven't heard of anything, uh, of that yet, but, uh, I mean, if, if you want, you can give me a call, try to call back tomorrow around this time, and I'll have an answer for you. I'll go ahead and ask my supervisor, and let you know if we will, like, around what time, so that we, uh, you're ready for it. Oh, <laughs> uh, I can call back tomorrow? What's your name? Uh, I'm Martin. Martin, so I'll call you back tomorrow. Yeah, you can go ahead and call back like around this time, or, and I'll have uh, an answer for you. Let you know about the peach pies. Oh, you're very helpful. Thank you. All right, my pleasure. All right, you have a good night. You too. All right, bye bye. His pleasure. People are just nice today. What is happening? Maybe it's this area of California we're calling. Maybe we got to go to this place. Uh, excellent service over there, I guess. It's up and down. Martin. My pleasure. I'm gonna start saying that. Here we go. Let's call the next one. We're gonna listen to some more of the music message. Hey. 
back to the fucking thing we were freaking talking about in the first place, the crown. Um, there's a crown in a piece of wood. Did you know that? Most wood has a crown. I repeat the crown part because it's very fucking important. And if it's not important to you, you're a fucking idiot. Like the person who built Santa my fucking trailer. Hey, McDonald's, you guys got Probably those, why my fucking uh, trailer peach leaked pies right now? And I'm sorry? I'm waiting for those peach pies. You guys got any of them peach pies yet? No. Uh, do you know when they're going to be coming? No. No, no, you got like a calendar or something? No. You still, you still doing the strawberry over there at your place? I'm sorry? You still doing the strawberry? Yeah, it's strawberry and apple pies right now. Because the, the other, I called the other one in, uh, in El, uh, what's it, El Cor Cajon there, you know? Yeah. They said that when they run out of the strawberry pies, that they're going to be moving on to the peach pies. So I'm trying to call the ones around in the area here and see if I can find one that already ran out of those strawberry pies so I can get some of those peach pies. No, sir, we're not probably not going to get the peach pie. Oh, not at all? No, probably not. What's going to happen? I mean, the strawberry's out, out pretty soon, right? Yeah, the strawberry just now got here. Oh, you just got it? Yeah. So you have it for like a couple months then, huh? No, it just got it. Like we've had it for like a week. But then you're gonna have it for in, in for a couple months into the future, though. Yeah. Like through the summer, likely. probably. I don't know. Uh, you guys are like you guys are like a month behind the other McDonald's with the pie selection, you know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I thought it works out. I guess. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that was pretty nice too. Whoa. Hello? Echo. This next one's on the town. Oh, actually. It's the end of the show. We made it through another episode of the program. I was not losing. Losing consciousness or dying. I think maybe we. Did we come close? What do you think, disembodied head? Yeah! Thanks, Mr. Ginsu. Thanks, Dan Dobler. Thanks, McDonald's. Thanks, uh, Sam. And thanks to viewers, and Alex, and sp goodbye spaghetti, hello egg, Ew, I don't like eggs though, if it's going to be about eggs, it's more Easter even though it's saying egg is like egg hunting and stuff, but I don't like to eat just straight up eggs, maybe it's an omelet or something, but that's got about the filling and the eggs are more of an outside thing, I like eggs in food and stuff, but I like just a straight up egg, I don't know, it's not my favorite, uh, but we're doing it anyway, more Easter kind of ish, so what do we do all week here, uh, tune in, oh you know, oh no that's going to be Sunday, so, tune in tomorrow for Sam. He'll be here. There it is. Thanks for a bot voice. Say bye, disembodied head. Do you want to say bye? Yeah! Next episode number and date and day of the week. Thanks. Yeah. Fabulous. Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. Here's the two you're watching. Thanks. Hell yeah, dog. Bye.